Let's talk about a kind of a common thing we see in adult dogs. So like a splenic mass that ruptures, all right? So let's say that we have a patient who comes in, an old lab, comes in, he's kind of weak, and we don't really find anything markedly abnormal on his testicle. We don't find a fluid wave in the abdomen. We're not sure, vague signs of illness. Something's not right. So we get our minimum database, and it looks good. We see a CBC that shows his hematocrit is 39, mm. which would be normal, a couple up from the low end, but in the normal range. So it wouldn't be flagged and it wouldn't get our attention. But let's say that we have done serial minimum databases in this pet throughout its life. And looking back, trending the results, we find that his hematocrit has been stable at 47. Mm. And now he comes in and it's 39. So that's a whole different story than if we just have this one value of 39, which is normal, and have nothing to compare it to. Now I know, uh-oh, this is not normal for this dog. There's something has affected this dog's hematocrit. Let's investigate. What would that involve? Maybe getting some abdominal imaging and so forth. So again, that would be an, ish, an instance of, that's an older dog now. We got blood work. That's great. But if we hadn't had our previous samples, that 39 would have seemed normal to us when we know, based on his previous values of being, having a hematocrit of 45, that for him that is not normal.